St. James Christian Methodist Episcopal Church, 1608 Lovett Road, East Dublin, Georgia, 31027. St. James hit the floor running after our 2019 annual conference. This pastor was both honored and humbled by the task of baptizing a new convert, one who came to the church willing and eager to learn and to serve in God's house. Our members put their best foot forward week after week, each serving in their various capacities giving God their very best. Every department, every age group made an effort to honor God for his goodness. And in return, the Lord showed favor to St. James with not just one, but two of our young ladies shine bright as queens in the homecoming court of the Johnson County High School. And after football season, it was then time to trim the trees and usher in the Advent season. The annual Christmas cantata was enjoyed by all as family and friends united themselves to share the sounds of the season. But before long, 2019 had come to an end and the year 2020 was upon us. Yes, it was first Sunday of January the year 2020. Yes, it, it was time to roll up our sleeves and, and finalize the plans for our 150th church anniversary. But little did we know that over the coming weeks, our faith would be tested in a mighty way. This pastor was ill the first three weeks of February and upon returning to the flock, it was recognized that the members were becoming ill as well. And as the pandemic grabbed the attention of the entire world, St. James immediately went virtual and reaching the people to teach God's word. We continue to do ministry. But through it all, several of our members would become ill. Brother P.W. Wesley, a 93-year-old proud and faithful CME, was the first to be hospitalized and diagnosed with the coronavirus. His wife of 71 years, Sister Hazel Wesley, was also hospitalized with the coronavirus. One of their sons, Brother Lamar Wesley, was hospitalized the same day as his mother with the coronavirus. His sister, Sister Stanley was hospitalized with the coronavirus. Lamar's wife was also diagnosed with the coronavirus. One of his brothers and his companion, 
the couple that live right next door to, uh, to brother and sister Wesley, both coronavirus. Uh, one of the sisters and her husband, who lived in Conyers, both diagnosed with coronavirus. Yes, nine people from the, the same family, all faithful members and, and supporters of St. James were victims of the coronavirus. And our church changed forever because on April 24th, Brother P.W. Wesley, lifetime member of the Christian Methodist Episcopal Church, succumbed to the coronavirus. While we never had an opportunity to grieve as a church, we're so grateful for the time we shared with Brother P.W. Wesley. Why? Because he was the epitome of faithfulness. And we will forever be grateful for the time the Lord allotted us. So finally, this conference year was definitely one of great personal loss for this servant. For it was after we returned from uh, Savannah, last annual conference, that I personally suffered an even greater loss for myself. The Lord called my own mother home another faithful servant in the Christian Methodist Episcopal Church. So it's one thing I will take away from it all after watching these servants of God is come what may on this journey. We have to put our faith into action and continue to trust the Lord God through all of our hurt and our pain. I vow to continue to teach the Word of God and reach any and everyone that's willing to hear. Bishop, this is our report for the St. James Christian Methodist Episcopal Church of East Dublin, Georgia. God bless you.